Troy, it's me, Mrs. Maine. I was going to write all this out, but I think a video will be faster. Uh, here's what I'd like you to do. We're doing an all Shakespeare day today, which you're gonna miss, and that's a real shame because you absolutely shine at Shakespeare, but I can make sure that you're ready and caught up for next week. So first things first, reread uh, the summaries of all of the acts of Julius Caesar because it's been like forever <laughs> because of weather delays and late arrivals and winter break and I don't even know. So uh, just reread it because you might have forgotten. And then the first thing I'm going to ask you to do uh, is reimagine some Shakespeare. This is optional. You don't have to do this, but it's a really fun little thought experiment. Imagine Julius Caesar was set somewhere else. Uh, you don't <laughs> have to write a whole five act play. I'm just going to have you jot a quick, su quick summary on the back. Uh, here's an example in the little box here. But imagine if instead of being set in ancient Rome, everything happened just the same, but it happened somewhere else. Like, what if it happened in a high school cheerleading squad? The stabbing in the back would be metaphorical and not literal, but it'd be a good time. Oh, oh, or what if uh, we set Julius Caesar on a pirate ship and there was like a mutiny? <sighs> and then another mutiny, I guess, because first they'd have to mutiny against Pompey and then they'd have to mutiny against Julius Caesar. <gasps> oh, oh, or like in outer space, they could be like space cowboys or intergalactic rebels or something. I don't know, just think about somewhere else where this story would work. This story works pretty much anywhere there are human beings. So <laughs> anyway, think about that. Speaking of other ways the story could have gone, I have this really cool comic. It's, uh, I included a little video, looks like this, uh, just to show you how to fold it up because it folds up kind of weird, but it's a Shakespearean what if. Uh, this is really cool. It's fun to read. You can color it if you want, but also I'm going to ask you to do something like this later in the year. So uh, you definitely want to check this out. But then here's the big lesson. Iambic pentameter. So we're going to learn about iambic pentameter today. We're going to write a little bit in iambic pentameter and um, it's complicated to pronounce, but it's totally not difficult. It's uh, iambic pentameter is a set of two syllables, one unstressed and one stressed. Ba-dum, ba-dum. Uh, it's iambic pentameter, so five sets, so ten syllables. Ba-dum, 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 right? Uh, I've got this really cool video. Uh, do the worksheet first. It asks you, it shows you some examples. I've done in caps the stress syllables. Uh, and then you find an example of iambic pentameter in Julius Caesar. It's really easy. All of the best bits I've uh, quoted in the summary, those are all in iambic pentameter. And each line is a different um, iambic pentameter. It, each line is a full iambic pentameter. Uh, then write it out again, but stress the stress syllables, write them in all caps. And in the bottom, I'm gonna ask you to tell me a little bit about your day in iambic pentameter. So uh, like you might say something like, Miss Maine, Mrs. Maine, no, Miss Maine, I am in core and teen. It sucks. <laughs> you could write it better than that, but that's what I'm looking for. Then watch this cool video. Uh, it's about Shakespeare and iambic pentameter and hip hop and it is excellent. I could not recommend it more highly. The only thing about this video is the guy in the video is English. He's like super English. So don't let the accent throw you. Finally, and this will be graded, Troy, we're gonna perform these next week. So uh, I'm gonna ask you to choose five lines from Julius Caesar, five iambic pentameters to memorize. They have to be all together. You can't just pick like friends, Romans, countrymen, oh you hard hearts, like that. Pick five lines all together in the play Julius Caesar and memorize them. You're going to memorize them and uh, then you're going to perform them in class. You're not shy. It's fine. I don't think you'll have stage fright or anything. Uh, you need to have memorized the lines. You need to know what's going on in the play and sort of convey that with your facial expressions. You need to be able to be heard in the back of the room, which is kind of hard when we're all wearing masks, so keep that in mind. Maybe practice in front of a mirror or in front of my dog is really good listener. <laughs> practice in front of a pet or something. We're going to perform these next week. And by then, I'm sure you'll be back. 
So good luck. Email me if you have any questions at all.